Hi everyone, welcome to Garden Yarns. My name is Christine. This is where we talk about knitting, crochet, and everything yarn related. Hi, how is everybody doing? I'm doing well. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me today. I appreciate all my new and long-time subscribers. I really appreciate that. Today I have uh, some whips. Mm, yeah, no finished objects. Uh, and I have some yarn from Walmart, and I have a Crochet Now magazine to share with you. So we'll get started, okay? Uh, first up, I've been working on the Wordle character. This is it here. This is the front, of course. I'm sewing in some of the loose ends, and I still have to sew the back and the arms together. This is the back. And these are the cute little arms. So yeah, I'm hoping I'll finish them later uh, still tonight. Uh, I usually stay up a little bit. I like to stay up late, so I might be able to get him finished. Uh, the other thing I've been working on is my, oh, this pattern is a free pattern on Ravelry. And this is it here. Uh, this is by Crocheted Goodies Ham and Eggs. Wordle crochet pattern. Uh, just says by Heather. But yeah, you can go have a look for this cute little guy. Uh, yarn I'm using. Uh, the white is Bernay Premium. And then I'm using Red Heart Super Saver Charcoal. Very pretty gray. Uh, Super Saver Red Heart Lemon. And then I'm using Sage by Craft Smart Value. This is a Michael's brand. And this basket is uh, Pamela's Adoring Crochet Basket. And hook, I'm using a Tulip uh, 3.75. So yeah, that's coming along. Uh, my next big project I've been working on is another a pattern by Pamela's Adoring Crochet. She has a, excuse me, YouTube channel. I am doing her essential sweater. And I'm almost done one sleeve. Uh, it's a very easy to follow pattern. She walks you through it step by step. And one of the tips I like is she has you Do a slip stitch and chain one at the start so you don't get that diagonal line. So it's staying pretty straight, the seam there. And this is a stitch marker that I made. It's a Moose. I got them off a keychain at the dollar store and I made them into a little stitch marker. And yes, yeah, so this will be done soon. It fits really well. I haven't decided if I want to go for pockets or not, but. Show you the back. And for 
this I'm using Brene Premium by Air Inspirations and this color is navy. This is my third ball and I'm thinking it'll be enough. I'm not sure about doing pockets yet. So that's that one coming along. And for that I'm using a 6.5 clover hook for that project. Uh, Pamela's sweater is uh, free on her YouTube channel or you can purchase a PDF from her website at pamelasdoringcrochet.com uh, What else? Oh yes. I actually did a few rows on my socks. here I've been working on the heel this is the back part to show you how much a few rows not many I'm loving the color wave this is a Christmas sock and I don't think I saved the label but this is what it looks like caked up been a while since I started them. Uh, this pattern here is by Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady. This is her vanilla socks. I always get intimidated by the heel. I don't know why. But it is only my second pair of socks so I'm sure that confidence will come. Uh, this is my cute Vicky Bay. I got off Etsy. I forgot who though, but it's very cute. This was supposed to be for Nitty Natty's so sock mess along, but of course I didn't keep up with that, but you gave it a good shot. And I think those are the main projects I've been working on. Just those three. That's enough. Oh, I made progress on my one ripple blanket. This is by Blossom Crochet. And I got quite a bit done. I'm on my second ball. And I'm using Red Heart Super Saver again, and this color is called Great Fizz. I do enjoy my blues and purples. Uh, this is this with my favorite hook, the 5.5 millimeter tulip hook. One thing I was working on, I didn't get as far as I liked, but you're trying another cow. We'll see how I stick with this one. This is uh, the one that's doing uh, done by Bago de Crochet, and she's making a Sesame Street themed blanket. This is the first square, and we're using the One Hat Wonders. I'm not sure if that's the correct name. They Sesame Street characters from Lion Brand. And the first square is Elmo. And I think this one we're using the six. Um, yeah, a six millimeter hook. So, yep, yeah, maybe tomorrow I can find a few minutes to finish it. I think she's only doing one square a week, I think. So, yeah. Really fun. And she attaches this to the center of the square. As for purchases, I got more yarn to make a blanket. I got three balls of Super Saver in the color black.
So I'll just take out two. I will go over the specs because everybody's familiar with these. And then I got three in the cherry red. Very pretty. That'll be uh, baskets for my cousin. She asked for six of them. And then next, I did pop in at Michael's and I just got some uh, things to make stitch markers. I got a lovely rainbow heart keychain. I got two of these. And I found these uh, pretty sunflowers. So I got two of those. And I got two of these cute llamas. So, no urine at my calls that, that I needed. And next I have the Bella Coco Crochet Now magazine. Um, I'm not sure what issue... Oh, issue 79. Here it is here. And the treat with this issue is a cute cat tape measure. Just looking at the back, it has a cute bag. Let's see what we have. Uh, we got a cute bedspread there and a cute top and bumblebee I'm kind of thinking bumblebee that might be fun to make they have a show us your makes page we'll eventually get to that Snoopy blanket oh this is pretty a little shawl shawlette There's B, how cute is that? Oh, granny square blanket. That looks a lot of fun. Oh, and there's Bella Coco and her hearts. summer top Let's see what else oh a pretty spring wreath Let's see what else we have oh oh they're doing a crochet along kind of like my dollar squares Great little magazine. Oh, there's a honey cushion. A lot of advertisements. A pretty wrap. Cute little baby vest. Cute little mobile. Bunny bunting. Those are cute. There's a few more ads. A snuggle up scarf with sleeves. Looks like. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about this already. Cute little lamb. Try a few more, a few 
you all my girly looks right. And I think lastly is another t-shirt with ruffles. Oh, nope, another animal gourmet. How cute is that? You're in heaven shop, you can knit. You can knitting shop. Look at their place of business. Looks awesome. Oh, and there's another picture of that blanket. Very pretty. And then standard abbreviations and crochet hook size. So yeah, very happy with this book or magazine. Again, that's issue 79. I hope you enjoyed that look through. Okay. Well, that's all I have for you today. Again, I thank everybody for liking, sharing, and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate that. I'm um, still looking forward to hitting the 500 subscriber mark. We're almost there. At that time, I'll do that giveaway as promised. Until then, I hope everybody has a great weekend. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.